And we are learning uh, more now about Aretha's final days. Yeah, and as we know, she always kept her private life just that, yeah. private. Uh, but now those who are close to her are sharing what it was like. Coco McAvoy is live from her home at the Riverfront Towers where she passed away. Uh, in Coco, two people you spoke to today, the Reverend Jesse Jackson and Bishop Charles Ellis. Yes, good afternoon, and both of them say the family is grieving, but also remembering the good times. And they say the family is really focused now on trying to plan a celebration of life for Aretha Franklin that both honors and respects her legacy. The Queen of Soul spent her final moments at a Riverfront Towers home in downtown Detroit, surrounded by loved ones. We had a time of laughter. We had a time of prayer. We had a time of uh, reminiscing and uh, I would like to call it memorializing. Bishop Charles Ellis III is the senior pastor at Greater Grace Temple. He visited Franklin's family today after hearing of her passing. Good therapeutic time for the family. Franklin was fighting pancreatic cancer. I believe that she was in pain when she didn't talk about being in pain. She was in pain when she was singing, when she was giving it all that she had. Reverend Jesse Jackson visited Franklin earlier this week when the news broke of her illness. He came back today to pay his last respects to his friend. Yeah, she has fought the good fight. <coughs> she has kept the faith. Franklin kept the faith while giving us hope through her iconic music. Earth has lost a lot of music today. Truly the heavens rejoice. Franklin's family is taking time to plan a celebration of life appropriate for such an icon. They appreciate all the prayers, all the love, all the support all the kindness. Though Aretha Franklin has passed, her family and the world will forever remember her as the Queen of Soul. Truly a remarkable woman who will never be forgotten. And I've really heard a lot of people say it best today that Aretha Franklin really wrote the soundtrack to our lives. Reporting live this afternoon, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4.